All right, here we go. We've got one more isometric three-view drawing, and this is going to be the most challenging you've seen so far. Uh, much like the last one, this also has um, some strange little cutouts and slants on it, and it has dimensions on it. So you can see all the dimensions here, uh, the total width of this piece, the total height of this piece, and the total depth of this piece, which I'm not going to announce, but you should be able to look at this and decide what they are. Now, what your, get, your task is to create that isometric view, and once you've created, once you've got a good idea of what this looks like, uh, you're going to then create the three views. And I always recommend starting with the front view, and I'm going to show you how I did it in just a second. Now, make sure this is a slant right here comes down. Make sure this rectangular cutout underneath goes all the way through. All right, so what you're going to do is go ahead and this is what it's going to end up looking like once you've created the isometric view. You're going to want to create the front view. And the front view is what you're looking at if you look straight at it from this face right here. You're going to see this shape on the bottom, which is going to create this. And you're going to see this face right across here, which is going to create this. And that's what the front view looks like. Now what we can do is create construction lines to help us guide where the top view and the right side view are going to be so that everything's lined up. Now to see what the construction lines look like, uh, they are these these guys over here. So you have these different colors and you can use make lines of different colors. That way you can hide certain colors if you want and display other colors uh, if you were hoping to do so. So you'd pick something like yellow or I don't care which colors you use. You could use pink or red or purple, whatever. Um, and then use line and you're going to create those construction lines. Uh, so going back to that chart, okay. Once you've created, got a construction line of a different color, you can extend out from the major uh, vertices, right, the corners of this. So on the top, there are three important corners: one, two, three. And we're gonna go ahead and extend up plenty far. It doesn't matter how far, as long as it's far enough to then build onto. And we're gonna extend out three, one, two, three off the right side. Those are the three important vertices that we're gonna design off of. And so you're gonna have construction lines that look something like this. Then we're gonna use those construction lines to start building the right side face, which is going to show this rectangle right here, and it's going to show this slant, although it's not going to look like a slant, it's going to look like a rectangle, as if you're looking straight on it. And you're also going to do the top view, which is going to look at this rectangle right here. This is going to appear as a similar rectangle to this, and then you'll see this rectangle here. And your finished product, once you've created it, is going to end up looking something like this, and at that point you can then right click on the color you use for the construction lines and they will they will become hidden and you no longer have to look at them. We use them as a guide but then we want to get rid of them because they are just construction lines. At that point you'll add the hidden lines to show like for example the rectangular cutout in there is uh, represented by this hidden line right here which is lined up perfectly with where the rectangular cutout was right here. Um, and then on here the rectangular cutout goes all the way through and we represent that with the hidden lines also, the dashed hidden lines. This line right here in the middle shows the change of surface from this rectangle to this rectangle. Okay, so your finished product should look just like this. Good luck.